Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zuhu Mail to Outlook in 2024. So today we're simplifying your email management by connecting Zuhu Mail to Outlook. This seamless integration allows you to access your Zuhu Mails right from your Outlook or in this video specifically, I'll show you how to automate some stuff using a third app party. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step connection so let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, just go to the URL section and as I said, I'll use a third app party like the one will be Zapier. So go to zapier.com, hit the enter button, Type in the URL, hit the enter button, and you'll find yourself in the home screen, main screen. If you don't know nothing about Zapier, you can scroll down there in the home screen to understand more information about it, see what people say about it, just have a general idea or familiarize yourself with it. So you will be able to just see some information if you don't know nothing about it, and it will be useful. And if you have an account, you can go click on login to log in into your account. If you don't, click on sign up to create a new account. If you are interested about the pricing, of course, they have a free plan. So don't worry about anything. And yeah, they have some plans, other plans. So pause the video and read it all by your own with the features if you want to. Of course, uh, for me, I'll just go here and click on login. You can even like sign in if you want to, to a new account with using Google, Facebook, uh, Microsoft. If you don't want to get through all the bonus steps of creating or even logging in into your account, as you can see, for logging in, I'll just continue to Google. So I'll continue with Google, this one. As you can see, I don't have to enter any information. Just continue with the account and I'll be good to go. So this is gonna be our dashboard. You can take some time to familiarize yourself with the dashboard if you want to, or simply just get right into it. So we'll use Zaps to automate the connection, to of course establish the connection and automate that connection between those two options. So for me, I'll just go to this list panel first of all and check if the apps are in there in Zapier. If not, the Zapier will not work for us. So go to here, click on apps, go and type Zuhu Mail. Yeah, Zuhu Mail is there. You can connect right now or afterwards. Oh, let's afterwards. And now let's look for Outlook and see if it's Outlook in there. As you can see, Microsoft Outlook is in there. So once I found both options are here, what I will have to do now go and click on create zaps and yeah you will find ourselves in something like this so and the zap will be able to connect uh, the outlook with zuhu mail and automate a connection between the two of them of course the connection will be as as you want so you can uh, like connect it and automate whatever you want on those two platforms you can use this AI tool even to create everything for you. Like as, as an example, I'll just type here when I uh, receive a new when I receive a new email in Zuhu Mail, send an email in Outlook as an example. As simple as that, and click on generate. They will generate the trigger for me, which is going to be Zuhu Mail when I receive a new email and the action, as you can see. So the step one, which is the trigger, is when I receive a new email. And the step two is send email, which is the action in Outlook. So if you like it, click on try it. If you don't, just change it to whatever you want. So uh, as an example, I'll just go and click on try it and they will take me in here. Now I'll have to solve this status option. As you can see, so choose an account, choose an account in here. Or I can even change the events. So other than new email, when I receive like his name, new match in search email, new tagged email, you can even change the trigger to Outlook. Like when I receive a new email in Outlook, what it should be done on Zoho Mail. As you can see, this will establish the connection between two platforms and even make an automated option for you. What you'll need to do is simply go and even change the event here if you want to like what do you want other than send email delete uh something find the contact find relevant calendar 
whatever you want. You'll be able to do everything that you want. But as we said, we'll have to solve this status, which is simply choose an account. So you can continue, as I said before, if you already connected while we choose to look for the apps, you don't have to sign in in here, but if you don't, you'll have to click on sign in and sign in into your account. So click on sign in, sign in into your account in here and also in here. So sign in into your account. Of course, here you'll have to choose domain, I guess, first of all. Yeah, then you'll have to connect into your account. So connect into both accounts. Then you will be able to establish the connection and you'll be already good to go. You'll find an option where you should like uh, try things out and how it's working. And of course, once you do so, you will be once you test the things out, you'll be good to go. You'll have to click on publish and the connection or it will be established and automated. You can even, as I said before, change the trigger into Outlook. So let's just change that. Microsoft Outlook. And this action into Zuhu Mail. I'm writing things wrong. So do email here on the trigger. I'd like to choose like if I receive, uh, I don't know, new email. It's the most like known parts. Click on continue, log in again to your account. And here, what should I do? I should like, I don't know, maybe create a new task, create a tag, uh, API requests. If you didn't find the action that you want in here, click on create a new action. It's very simple. You can use the AI for that or you can do everything manually. So customize your, as you can see, Zap experience, add input field, the action, gets or post, puts, delete, patch, and then enter the URL where it should be done. Then Zapier will encode, as you can see, these optional keys and values into parameter and append them uh, to the HTTP URL. So enter whatever you want. Authenticated header are included automatically. You can add, it, add that also if you want to and you will be good to go without any problems. So yeah, that's going to be it. Once you finish all of that, once you connect into your account to choose the events and etc., you will find the test option. Click on it if the test is working correctly. You're already good to go. Just publish it and the connection will be established and automated however you want. So there you have it. You learned how to connect and automate Zuhu Mail with Outlook in 2024. Now you can manage your Zuhu Mail seamlessly with your Outlook. And if you have any questions or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next video, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and happy emailing and I'll see you in the next video.